Hi, this video will show you how to use a REST, a REST service to do a CRUD functionality in Apex. So in the previous video, I'll show you how to create a REST API off a table. So let's use that as our REST service or API. So let's start. Go to app. Go to app builder. Let's create a new app. Give it a name. Rest as the real application. Okay, to use the web services, all we need to do is go into the share component and create a data source. We'll create a REST data source under data sources. Click REST data sources. Click on create from scratch. It's an Oracle REST data services. Give it a name. The endpoint is basically the URL we had before. Next. Next. There's no authentication, so let's click on Discover. Okay, so that's the data. Let's click on Create REST Data Source. Okay, so let's verify that. If you notice, all of the operation has already already been created the get which is fetch all the rows post which is to create a new record delete to delete the row get to s get a single record passing the id and put which is to update as well okay um let's look at the data or the column itself edit data profile the create date the create is a date column and the update is a date column however it was it came in as a bar chart so let's update that click on edit edit button change it from bar chart to date and since the date has timestamp let's select that click on apply okay and the same thing here an update it's a date view and it has time zone apply Okay, so that's the REST data source. Now let's use it in our application to create an interactive form. Okay, create a page, form, form with report, click on next. So let's give this name as a list of tasks, maintain the task, click model, from model, click on next. Let's give it a navigation list of tasks, seems fine. Okay, so we need to select the REST data source instead of a table. So let's select that. Select the REST data source that we created just now. Click on next. Let's specify the primary key which is ID. Click on create. Okay, let's look at this okay so some of the column we don't need to see for example this we don't need to see it let's hide it um I'm gonna hide this as well hide this as well okay and also in the create page we don't need to see these last four columns let's hide those yeah. i think those are hidden Should be hidden as well as on the edit page. Okay, so let's verify the CRUD functionality. So obviously, we already are doing the read, which is what you're viewing here. 
list of all the records so let's do create this project that's one start date make and status open assign to class 500 budgeted 600 okay let's see if it works click on create and verify it's there it should be the last record Okay, here it is so we create a record which is the C part of the crowd functionality so let's do an update as well okay let's apply change and verify if it's updated last record it's updated it's updated so we did the create the update and obviously the read so let's do the delete functionality click on edit let's delete it okay record should be deleted okay it's gone so the basic concept is Create an application and the share component. Create a REST data source of the REST API. In our sample, we are using one that we created, but in reality, you will be using an external web service. And then use that web REST source to create an interactive report. I hope this helped you. Thanks.